Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. There you go. Hi, my name is Luis, and I'm, the, I'm from Mexico, and I'm the CEO of IDEAME, which is the only regional Latin American crowdfunding website. I want to start this presentation by, by asking you guys, how many of you know about crowdfunding? Most of you, as expected. So cool, because I'm going to try to give you a, a different perspective about crowdfunding for you to look at it in a different way. Now, first of all, I want to ask you guys, how many times you've had an idea? Every time, right? Lots of times, many different ideas. Uh, ideas that you feel passionate for, ideas of starting maybe a new business, or specifically for you guys, starting a nonprofit uh, organization, uh, something that will generate a lot, a lot of social impact. Maybe you guys want to publish a book. Maybe you, you've always wanted to write a book and then publish it. Maybe you guys want to design or create the new best product of the world, like a new cell phone or smartphone or a new car, or maybe you just want to get a lot of money, which I, I don't think is the case in this particular room, of course. Um, but most of those ideas are coming from four different um, concepts, which is passion. Maybe it's something that you've always felt passion for, you know? Maybe it's your best talent, something you're very good at. Sometimes it's something very innovative, or that you, or that you're sure it will change the life of millions of people. Now, this is this is about ideas. This is about what we've always been thinking about, you know. But how many times that idea is not is not able to become a reality? And unfortunately, it's also in most of the cases, right? Why? Well, I don't have all the answers, but I could identify four of them, which are this. First. It could be because of the lack of supporting environment. What does this mean? Maybe you don't have access to know-how. Maybe you don't have access to infrastructure or to people that have past experience, etc. And you are not able to become that to turn that idea into a reality. Maybe it's because of the lack of outreach. You don't have access to a lot of people that will back you up. Or maybe that specific target of people that will believe in your project and support you, right? Maybe it's, a, it's a, may, sometimes, many times, it's about of the lack of funds, because you don't have the, cap, the initial capital. You cannot go to the bank. You cannot go with uh, actual investors. Or maybe it's because of excuses. Lack of time, lack of motivation, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, the good news is that I have the answer for three out of the four uh, <laughs> principal reasons for not becoming an idea into a reality. If you are in the, in the part of excuses, well, what, what I can say is just focus on it, get over it, and start doing it. But if you are in one of the above, I can tell you that there is now an industry, a thriving industry, with many companies that will give you access to those three, to a supportive environment, to outreach, and to funding. The, the key word is access to turn your idea into a project with a specific timeline, with a specific objective, and with a more structured baseline to start working from. What is that industry? Of course, crowdfunding. Now, to me, what is crowdfunding? Is the opportunity to do. And this is my definition. To me, crowdfunding is giving back the power to do to the entrepreneurs. Because if you had before, if you had to rely on somebody else that trusted you, or somebody else that would give you money, or somebody else that would back you up, now it's in your hands. And you can actually do it in one day from your home and actually do it. What is crowdfunding doing today? And, and what is crowdfunding about? About boosting talent, like that Brazilian uh, Tungo group who wants to release their first al album, or this Chilean band who's been around for 15 years, and they found that the easiest way to, to release their new album, which is not the first, uh, is through crowdfunding, and they raised around $14,000 to do it, is about generating social impact. Like this, these two organizations in Argentina, one of them, the one on the left, who is trying to, to, to take movies into, uh, into, commu into marginalized communities for children to be able to have access to it, or this group of people who want to go from Argentina to Mozambique. I don't know if that's the way you say it in English, by the way. I think it's Mozambique, right? Yeah, OK. Um, I want to build uh, schools for people that, who don't have access to, to, to education. It's also about creating awareness. Like this young lady who wants to film a documentary 
uh, with one of the most important hist historical um, facts of, of Colombia, something related with the government and some indigenous population. And they want to create awareness around that because it's important for them, right? And it's also about build building your own company. Like these two Mexican uh, entrepreneurs, one of them uh, wanted to uh, launch a new, a new uh, product line of sunglasses, very cool sunglasses made out of recycled ma materials. And the other one wanted to brew and a specific type of coffee, a cold coffee, which is very interesting. That is all about, this is all about crowdfunding. Now, is crowdfunding generating impact? Well, it is. In our platform, crowdfunding means more than $1.5 million in direct investments to new ideas. And this is very interesting because I am, I am watching the slide and I see investment and I see new ideas actually going together, which Unfortunately, it's not always the, the case, but in this case, it is. And globally, it's about million, billions of dollars, 2.7 in, two, in, two, in 2012. And, and the projection for this, for this year is going to be $6.5 billion invested directly in new ideas, in people with talent, with passions, which is, which is the important part of it. Then, for our platform, more than 300 ideas funded, which means... They are, not, they are no longer ideas, but they are realities. They are projects. They have become a reality. Globally, tens of thousands of ideas. Almost hundreds of thousands, actually. And for our platform, it means 30,000 individuals continuously funding ideas. This is, these are people like you and I, individuals who believe in people and are funding different ideas for them to become a reality. Globally, it means millions of people. So. Summarizing, and with this I will finish. If we add up, and you have an idea, and then you have access to turn it into a project, and if you remove the excuses, it will be a reality. <laughs> so the real question is, what is stopping you? Thank you. <laughs>